20-year-old Chiran Hutchinson's been sentenced to 28 years, 20 years in prison and a further eight on licence. The judge gave an extended sentence in court today, stating he was a continuing danger after he was convicted of three counts of rape. The jury deliberated for more than 33 hours in the case without knowing Hutchinson had already pleaded guilty to two offences of sexual activity with a child aged just 14. He'll have to serve at least a third of his custodial sentence before he'll be considered for release. Throughout the trial here at Maidstone Crown Court, we've heard how Hutchinson took his two victims on two separate occasions to secluded woodland areas outside of Tunbridge Wells, and that's where he attacked them. Now, a jury convicted him of two counts of rape on a 17-year-old girl and one count of rape on a 24-year-old woman, and that was just six days later. He knew that they were vulnerable, um, they were young girls. Um, on one occasion, it was the first time that she'd been out uh, drinking late at night and uh, they were clearly really vulnerable and he took advantage of it. He'd gone out, um, I think he was calculated, he knew exactly what he wanted to get that night um, and he sought out the most vulnerable people and targeted them. Hutchinson openly said in court that he was an opportunist when it came to having sex. He'd often go to nightclubs in Tunbridge Wells in a hope to find women and he also told the court how he lied about his job. He told them he was a successful model and stockbroker in a hope that he could impress them. Following his arrest, police discovered search records on his computer, one of a girl being raped in a Tunbridge Wells toilet and another of how rape is proved. And these searches were made just days after he carried out the attacks. The survivors of these attacks have been extraordinarily brave in coming forward, uh, speaking to the police. Uh, we've um, tried to help them along the way, but ultimately they had to come to court and tell their story and we're very, very grateful that they've done that and as a result of that we hope for a sentence which will safeguard the community at large. Police say they are pleased with today's outcome and now that the victims know that Hutchinson will be spending a long time in prison, they can start to try and put this horrific event behind them and move on with their lives. This is Josie Hannett at Maidstone Crown Court for KMTV.